What's up my Pongios, Andy with Andy Vlogs, excited to share with you guys this content. Today we're going to be reviewing here a vlogging kit for your smartphone. This is from a company called Comica, they reached out to me so you know where my bias is and they provided to th this to me, complimentary to review it. I was not paid for this, so this is not an advertisement. Down below in the links in the description are going to show you, you know, where you can pick up this product. This is really exciting. This is like a professional vlogging kit where you've got not only a handheld tripod, it connects to your smartphone. It also has a bracket above it that provides you a light as well as a shotgun mic. As you can see, it's a huge box. It's pretty gigantic. It did ship in a, a, an abnormally large Amazon box, but I mean, that was fun to see that on my doorstep earlier. Uh, I'm going to open up here. It's kind of like a clamshell opening and this has a very, very nice presentation. I mean, right off the bat, you've got all your components that are nicely fitting inside of this foam case. It even comes with a little windscreen, a little rat's foot for the microphone and the microphone itself comes with a screen itself as well. Here are the instructions and whatnot, the user manual. You do have some stickers and I believe some product information, we won't go through that. Here is your C-clamp, this is gonna be where it holds your phone. Uh, here is your grip, your tripod grip, which seems to be in decent enough. I feel like these hinges right here are pretty flimsy. Your engineering down here seems adequate, but I think um, you know if you're gonna be setting this up outside, where you're gonna be vlogging, maybe on a picnic table or whatnot, it may be susceptible to uh, movement from wind and whatnot. We'll see about that. I'll try to go over that all here in this review. You've got what it appears to be a ball joint, which I'm gonna connect the tripod to. Pretty straightforward. I always love when they provide a ball joint. I feel like these grips are the most sturdy. However, this is becoming difficult to move. Um, I am loosening it, but it's not letting this ball joint move mm. nonetheless i'm going to try to center it the best i can here and then we're going to put that c clamp for the phone right on top as well it does have this little groove which will allow you to get you the vertical orientation which is nice nextly i'm going to place the the c clamp on you want to do it with the spinning dial here at the top i mean i'm going to need it i'm going to need it as as wide as can be I've got a big boy here iPhone 12 Pro Max everything does feel extremely plastic except for this ball joint here the ball itself is some metallic here we go let me get my iPhone in there there it goes I like how the C clamp grips are wide enough to hold a phone with a case and it does provide these rubber cushions so when it clamps it down it's not damaging your device in any way now the hardest part is to clamp it while it's in it's this is a nice grip here i think for your typical vlogging camera it gives you you know when you extend your arm all the way enough space to get yourself completely in picture if you want you can also do it the other way using the front facing camera let's go ahead and show you now the vertical orientation here. You gotta loosen this ball joint all the way till you can't. If I were to lay this flat, it is not completely vertical. That is disappointing to say the least. We're still at an angle. It is not, it is not completely 90 degrees. That is unfortunate. Dang. Let's move on to the other accessories here. So you've got this metallic, which is really impressive. Um, cold shoe mount that's going to provide you a railing to place your other accessories on. So this is actually probably one of the best items here because this can be used in almost every single situation where you have a cold shoe mount. Here's the railing groove. You just slide the cold shoe mount connection to one side. You can see that these are LED powered lights uh, from Viewflex. This is a USB type C powered battery, which is kind of exciting. All right, it's turned on. You've got these four indicator lights and a very, very cool. This appears to be, you know, very, very dim, cool light. If you have the M blue, then that means it, it makes the, 
the light brighter. See how bright that's getting? That actually gets really bright. And then it's obviously getting dimmer now. If you push the M to red, that's gonna change your color profile, your white balance. So now we're leaning very, very blue. We can start leaning very, very red or more red than not. And now I'm completely red. So that's actually really awesome that it switches in between. This is about halfway. Here's very blue. That's excellent. That's, this is a keeper as well. Now that we've gone through the light, let's turn it off. We don't need it blaring. Let's go ahead and, and go through some of the other accessories. So it comes with cords obviously for charging. So here is your USB type C to USB to charge the light. Here is the adapters now to connect to your smartphone. So this is going to be your, I think it's called a TPF cable or TT, TTPF. It's that gray to black. So black is what it, uh, goes into the microphone. It's got your two regular channels, left and right. That's gonna go into the microphone. This is where you're gonna be connecting into your headphone jack, but we have a problem here, guys. I don't have a headphone jack. So with that, you're going to need to get yourself an adapter. That's the one thing that's missing if you've got an iPhone. You need to get a Thunderbolt adapter to a headphone jack. So I've got this, it's like a $10 deal. Um, you just plug it in like this and then it can go into the iPhone and now the iPhone will recognize it as a microphone. It goes like this with the elbow facing the direction of the person and then this can slide gently here right on the rail. You can add additional mounts or whatnot. Uh, another awesome thing about this is it comes with this windscreen for if it's windy. It seems to be pretty decent. It's got the branding from Comica. All right, so this is what the rig should look like. I've got my Light Chaser Pro case. If you guys are wondering what I'm using here, it allows you to have this handhold grip adapter if you want, as well as this grip here that has a Bluetooth shutter button. What's nice about this case is it does have the adapter here for the Polar Pro filters, as well as these grooves for the M series lenses, like these moment lenses. I'll have links of all these products in the description you can check out if you're interested. But this is a pretty nice setup. Even if you didn't use, you know, this handheld joint, you could put this on any tripod by just screwing it into this groove and using this nice ball joint to connect it. I mean, I really think that this really packs a punch. It provides you very good spacing, especially with this rail, a nice C clamp, this ball joint and an all around nice tool to vlog. I'm gonna go ahead and spend the rest of the day vlogging today and show you what that looks like. I've got my handheld rig that we're reviewing here. Just so you can see it, I will show you with a second camera in a second what we're doing. So basically these are the tools that you're gonna need to set up this wall mount, this echo wall mount, Mickey wall mount. I'm gonna put it on the wall over here so it can show lights and whatnot and show us the timers as my kids set it for school. Just so you believe me that I'm actually using the rig, here it is. I've got it set up with the microphone, obviously with the light blaring on you. I've got the uh, Moment Lens 58 2X Tele. You got the tripod mount just kind of chilling out here. I thought it would just use this rig to finish this project that I'm doing here, uh, setting up this Echo. Okay, so we're just gonna mount this clock right here. I'm gonna see if I can't find myself a stud. If I don't find a stud, then we're just gonna drill it right into the drywall using the anchor. Just drill right in, right till you break through, then we're done. Hey! I mean, this is, this is only gonna hold up like a half a pound. It's not a big deal. It should be fine. It looks scrunched. I didn't squish it all the way into the hole, but that's fine. I don't care. And then there you have it. There it is. It's on. Alexa, set a 10 second timer. See, there you go. Look, look, there's the timer. There we go. Now it's working. There's our timer. Pungios, this is a, the first test. This is gonna be straight off from the iPhone Mike's camera. It's pretty decent. You can hear a lot of ambient sounds. 
the birds in the sky, the cars driving in the main road here, and my voice obviously pointed directly at the camera. Let's go ahead and plug in the Comica mic. All right, so I've got the cardioid directional mic here connected directly into the iPhone. This is the Comica shotgun mic that comes with this set. I'm about maybe four, three to five feet away. Speaking to you with an average voice, not very loud. I'm gonna back up to like five or 10 feet. Now I'm about 10 feet away. This is what my voice sounds like here. Um, I'm gonna be switching from the iPhone camera between the Sony and the iPhone camera, and I'm only gonna be using the mic from the specific mic, the audio. And I'm gonna go all the way back to my fence. This is probably 30 feet away. You can tell, I can't tell, but you can. You'll be able to hear how it sounds. Now I've switched over to the Rode Video mic. You can tell how this sounds. It may not be different. It may sound the same. Remember, you have to have that TRS cable in order for you to connect. It's like a TRRS or TRSS. It's the one with the gray back. That's what connects into smartphones. Nonetheless, I have an adapter as well that you have to get, which costs about 10 bucks. Now I'm gonna go about 10 feet away. This is what my voice sounds like with this mic. 10 feet away with all the ambient sound. Similar cardioid shotgun mic from Rode. Now I'm going to go to the back. This is what my voice sounds like about maybe 20, 30 feet away from the microphone as you can hear. All right, Pung Eels. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little vlog, that little segment there and the little tutorial on how to use this thing. I think it's really awesome to be honest. I don't think it's too conspicuous. But I think when you're going out to like a park or a mall and if you're shooting, I think it's definitely going to turn heads. Nonetheless, having an adapter for your phone is really, really nice, especially having that shutter as well as the adapter for a lens. Um, if you guys are interested, I'm going to have links for all those products there in the description as well as the product from Comica. I think this is a very decent microphone. I, I do have the Video Rode mic, which I find to be a little bit better sounding which you obviously heard in the tutorial, in the comparison, but it's up to basically your choice. Both of them are still picking up lots of background noise and they're not as omnidirectional as you'd think. Uh, this rail is really a big deal setter for me because I love having my little accessories and what's nice is you can have it on anything that has a cold shoe mount. This light is fire as well, as you saw in those darker, you know, scenes that were night or overcast, I was able to have all my sub subjects lit really well. All in all guys, this is a pretty good product. The C-clamp is annoying for clamping it, but nonetheless, I think this is a very solid product for $99. If you like this content guys, hit that subscribe button. My name is Andy with Andy Vlogs, signing out.